So folks, we're back once again here in Tiny Town, and you know what? Komodo made it to two episodes here. I know that might sound strange because uh, last time we restarted the series, I did one video and that was it. And then it was like another year until we did another one. So I've got another plan here today. We're going to make something uh, that is related to the channel. And we're going to be doing a flood challenge here. I think I want to create like an island where some crazy competitions coming on to escape the flood. Uh, little do we know, uh, some of the characters that have escaped the factory, which by the way, if you haven't seen this episode, I'll have the Tiny Town playlist linked down in the description. But yeah, we had an evil guy that uh, actually unleashed a bunch of the birds from the garden of Ban Ban. And yeah, we're going to continue more with this build probably next episode. There will be a little bit of this build tied into what we're doing today because it's going to be right off in the ocean over here. So yeah, if you guys are excited for some more Tiny Town, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And I know what everybody's saying right now. Komodo, you forgot a character last episode. Well, Komodo actually did this on purpose because I was going to wait and see how many comments... I would get regarding the whole fact that we're missing our old lady oblivious grandma kind of tells me how many people watched the original series and they were like well, well that's a character why is it not in here so uh, that's actually much appreciated I know there's a lot of return viewers to this so we're gonna go ahead and get to building here I'm gonna go ahead and expand the ocean out here and this is where we're gonna do our little flood challenge like I said uh, some of this build will spill over into this one and then next episode uh, which by the way comment down below give me ideas for new builds uh, we will continue into the city here but I, this is like probably my second idea that I had like I, the first one was the factory But I was like, oh, I could do a flood escape thing, too So I was teeter-tottering which one I was gonna do first and ultimately decided on the factory So yeah, I got a ton of custom objects in here. Uh, we're gonna use some of those here today I think I got a couple cars I want to use but I need to go o actually over to the railroad here because they have some good mountain pieces so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and say that the flood escape challenge has already been uh, initiated So the floods happening and it's actually gonna be flooding an island So we're gonna have cars trying to get up it jumping off people falling down into it kind of like my uh, flood videos Where mostly I fell, but it's fine. Maybe we won't fail here today So yeah, this is gonna be our beam and G style build here put a couple little mountain pieces in here kind of mix it up uh, As far as the terrain, I'm gonna use some roads in here I need a bunch of like hills and stuff by the way just give you guys a uh, perspective how big this is uh, the character set about like this so uh, I know it looks small on screen but we're uh, we're gonna get this as massive of a build as possible okay so we have the island set up here uh, the scaling is actually ginormous so here let's uh, zoom in so say if we're standing here that's what the island looks like so the way I'm gonna explain this uh, a lot of people are gonna say well Komodo if that's flooding why is that not flooding well, since this is a challenge, uh, like we set up our own flood escapes in Beam and G Drive, we're actually dropping the island down. Uh, so we're going to have like a starting area over here uh, and probably have like a broken up bridge where the competitors jump onto the island and actually might have to do it over there. And they'll have to try to race their way up to the top, which will have a prize up here at the top of the mountain. Ah, it feels good being back to builds that really make no sense, but they're fun. Okay, so, so the star line for this actually is going to be a, a floating platform. Uh, we're going to put a couple of these together. Uh, so those look like they're tied off together. And I've got some custom pieces here uh, that I do want to use. That are some like broken uh, bridge pieces, or we can make them into a broken bridge piece. So what I'm doing here, I'm actually creating a, a bridge... Uh, that is leading out to the island, so I'm gonna have to damage the the good-looking part there But yeah, it's a really janky road They got to fly across the bridge kind of take these really terrible <laughs> Like breaks and jumps and I'm gonna have to put another island piece, but we're gonna turn them here I'm actually gonna angle this a little more this way Might need to add a couple more little debris parts down here to make it look like they might be able to drive over it And yeah, they're gonna hop up onto the island here. Uh, I need one more turn so I'm thinking something like this. I'm gonna put some pillars under here to make it look like it's actually got some form of support. And then we're gonna drop up on the island. I'm gonna need to move this island piece sideways. That way I have a, uh, a way to get a road up here. And I have road pieces. I think on the farm, we'll use like a dirt road up here. Actually, you know what? Maybe using, I have more like asphalt road pieces. I think maybe using those is going to be the wiser choice. That way I can use a lot of the ones in the default game. Yeah, because I have the little piece here that I can make the road climb up here. Nice. So yeah, I do realize I'm gonna have to change parts of the island a little bit because obviously you have all this exposed uh, land or this rising up like white piece uh, right around the roads and I obviously don't want those. So yeah, I'll have to build up the terrain a little bit around them. We're gonna have a uh, jump here. I need to shrink this piece down. 
You know, it's cool is I can use these pieces also to like just place down uh, into the ground and make it look like the collapse pieces. Uh, so say like this is actually a jump off the top of this. We'll put like a return uh, probably bridge on the other side. And oh yeah, that's gonna be cool. Okay, so here's what I got so far. So we have the, the bridge or the big ramp leading up. I've covered a lot of the side. Uh, you can see where it's fallen off. So uh, I would say it's in the early stages of flooding. Uh, so they have to make this turn. They go kind of in between the mountains here. You can see the tires I've set up. They hit a ridiculous jump that nobody would survive. And they come down into the landing. So this is going to be the flooded zone on this side. I'm going to make it wrap around uh, to this side of the mount mountain. And then we're going to have one final climb up uh, to the finish. So like I said, the island itself goes down. Uh, here is the barge. Uh, I set a start line up on it. And this is where the spectators and all that would be safe. Um... I mean, I would pay money to see this, but yeah, we'll set up some grandstands over here in the start line, uh, so they'll race off. The bridge itself doesn't sink, but it's when they get over to the island. Uh, I would assume that's when it starts to go down. I'd actually like to see this recreated in Beam and G. Okay, so now you guys are gonna have a little better idea as to what's happening. I've been building for uh, a couple minutes here, so that's the landing we talked about. So this is actually fairly shallow through here. I'm gonna add some rocks and stuff, so they're gonna have to try to get through here as it's flooding. Maybe use some of the shipping containers to drive on top of. Uh, then they're gonna hit another bridge, and here I'm gonna have to work with the terrain, and I'm gonna make some support pillars to make it look like it is probably the most dangerous road we've ever seen. And yeah, it's bumpy, you gotta try to keep some momentum going up here, and then you got one final jump, and I actually have the winter platform up here. Uh, I used a piece from the, uh, the Maritime, and I used the smokestacks, and I made them look like two giant pillars under here. I actually think that came out kinda cool looking. And then we'll put like a victory lane up there, but I gotta make this somewhat look like it makes sense, which, I mean, nothing makes sense in Tiny Town. But, uh, I need to build up the land around here, and then, like I said, add some pillars, uh, build a little more land over here. So the island's gonna be just a tad bit bigger, I think. Okay, so I've been hard at work. This makes a tad bit more sense now. So, like I said, come off that, you're gonna be racing through here. Uh, you can see there's some debris, it's currently flooding in this section. Uh, nice little ramps. Um, I didn't forget, oh my goodness, I just went below the map, uh, I didn't forget a spot for our favorite character, what she is a big fan of these extreme sports, and folks, you guessed it, she's finally back. It is Oblivious Grandma, and you know what, she's gonna be enjoying some tacos, it's her day off, well, actually, every day's her day off because she's retired, and, uh, hold on, let's get her her tacos. Look at that, I got a soda and a taco, got a front row seat to watch all the destruction that's going to be coming over, which by the way, stay tuned, uh, we're going to be adding racers, uh, people, so yeah, they uh, race through here, I actually added a bunch of pillars uh, under this bridge uh, area that goes up, uh, it actually looks really cool, I like the way the destruction came out right here, I need to cover up a couple spots under there, but yeah, they're going to race up here, and for victory lane, I'm going to add some of the racetrack parts, so I'm going to decorate victory lane real quick, and the start, and then we should be ready to start adding the chaos to this. Okay, racetrack, okay, well, I'm sure they're not gonna sell that many tickets, because I don't think you want spectators besides Grandma uh, on the actual island itself. So yeah, we're gonna add these. I gotta make sure these are the right scale here. Uh, hold on, we need to get a car out, uh, make sure everything is correct. There we go, I think we got this in. We had to add some barges here, uh, because I've got more things that I wanna add to the start section. Hey, we know how to treat our people right. You gotta have, like, hospitality areas and stuff and get signatures from your drivers before they ultimately die. Okay, so here we go. This is, uh, much more decorated. Actually, I need to add, uh, some sort of little, uh, bridge to this section here. There we go. We got a bridge that goes across now. So, yeah, this is where the start line is. We'll add some, uh, vehicles here. And then, yeah, I gotta add a couple pillars to that. But I think, fundamentally, we're pretty complete here. Except for Victory Lane, but that's gonna be easy to put in. Okay, so it's gonna be kind of a run what you want to bring here So I'm gonna add pretty much any and every style of vehicle. I want uh, we're gonna start with some racetrack styles uh, I'm actually gonna save the victory lane uh, for the end because I'm trying to think of like a prize or something so uh, I want to go ahead and get some of the vehicles uh, taken care of so we got like derby cars flying down this thing I don't know if you guys were to pick a vehicle. What would it be? Oh, yeah, we can allow ATVs uh, dirt bikes You know Komodo would probably be in the monster truck here have some street bikes, muscle cars flying off this thing. Probably wouldn't suggest doing a muscle car because of the way the terrain is. You know what? For funsies, we're sticking the diesel up here. I need some of my Mad Max cars. 
Uh, we should probably have some destruction here at the bottom. Oh yeah, you know we need some explosion pieces. There we go. So there's a big explosion happening at the bottom of this ramp as the cars come flying through. Actually, I need one more explosion here. Uh, we have a car flying off. This thing's got too much damage. Might have some people running across the track as they uh, get out of their cars. And of course, we need to stick some of the cars uh, in the water. Some people bring in their street vehicles thinking they were going to run with the rest of them. Uh, we'll go ahead and stick this one off over here. And then maybe, you know what, let's stick a crazy vehicle in here. Or maybe somebody brought an ambulance. Uh, that probably should have been for the event, but you know what, they wanted to run it. And uh, they didn't make it very far. Hold on, I could totally get an EMT and put them on top of it. Do you think she knows she's getting fired after this? Yeah, you don't do that with company cars. And yeah, we'll even have stuff like people uh, running across the track. So you can see the it goes up here. I need to add a couple cars down here. Probably a couple of destroyed cars too. Ooh, you know we gotta add an ATV here. I think an ATV on this course would be terrifying and fun at the same time. I think rally cars would also make it pretty far in this event. I think if you have a normal, like, uh, or an off-roading race car, you have a chance here. Everything else. But you know what? You can enter anything you want on this. Yeah, this guy's going for it here in his ATV. And then, of course, we have the massive jump. Now, this is a massive jump has an angle you probably want to hit it at a little to the right. If you hit it to the left, there's a chance uh, that you hit a mountain, which... You know what? We're gonna have a poor uh, motorcycle rider doing. Okay, not gonna lie, this is gonna come out kind of cool. All right, so that guy is flying after running into the side of the mountain. Uh, I did say I was gonna go ahead and add uh, some Mad Max style vehicles. I think those things would be tough enough uh, to make it. So I'm gonna spread some more of those out on the track here. Okay, so we've added quite a bit more. We got vehicles releasing from the ramp. Uh, this fire truck is not gonna make it. Uh, we got some down here stuck in the water. Uh, like I said, it's not too deep, but if you fall off on the wrong side, as you can see, this diesel's gotten stuck down here. I went ahead and stuck some more of, like, the, the bikes and stuff, even though I don't think there would be a good chance of them making it. Uh, oh, just deleted another bridge. It's fine. So, yeah, I even put, like, a little caution thing here to watch out for the barriers. Uh, so, you got an ATV rider over here. Uh, you've got a dirt bike rider. And then down in the, uh, the bottom of the bridge where it's broken up. By the way, the uh, company that runs this event might need to reinvest in maybe potentially fixing up some of these roads. So yeah, uh, more vehicles are going up here. And then the winner, I think it would be the big monster truck. So it is jumping to the finish, which by the way, I need to do a finish. Uh, give you an idea what our build looks like today. Our build today is so much bigger than what we did last episode. This one I would say is a little more detailed as far as the little small things. But this is no slouch, and this is going to be a really cool look when we get the city on this side. And uh, I think it's going to look awesome just having this little island in the background. By the way, I did tell you guys that this build was going to spill over. Uh, so before we do our victory lane, I'm going to add some of the birds. I'm going to say they actually swam across the, uh, the water. And yeah, they're coming up on the track. No, this is totally fine. Uh, they're here for the leftovers. So yeah, I want to add these. That way it kind of makes the build somewhat tie together. Uh, so we'll stick one in the water here heading up towards it. I just think it'd be kind of cool to kind of tie in I know it's still like separate events going on, but uh, I feel like that's just a nice touch Especially if I put the city up for like download one day uh, People could see that and be like, oh, that was cool You know, it's like we could see the different builds interacting together. So yeah, here is the uh, victory lane There actually is a, uh, a safe grandstand. Well, I say safe. Um, there's a potential the vehicles jumping up here, which by the way that almost makes me a little dizzy Like if you're standing up here, that's the perspective of looking down off that mountain. That's pretty far down So yeah, they're they're supposed to jump up here or stop uh, We have our little victory lane and you know what they win they win a truck full of tacos. This is a new 2023 um, Truck and yeah, it's got tacos in it. So that is the grand prize. I bet you grandma man Why is she not in the race today? She'd really enjoy this, but, you know, I feel like that is a fitting end. Uh, plus, that looks really cool. So, by the way, let's give you guys a perspective. So, say if we were over here at the town, uh, like I said, once I finish up this area, it'll be a little more filled out. Uh, but, yeah, that's what it looks like from over there. And give you guys an aerial view of what we've built here today. I actually really like the way this thing came out. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, we have a flood escape here. Keep popping up those ideas, and we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town.